One area of Kalman syndrome HH which is often overlooked is the problem of osteoporosis or brittle bone disease. Now, during puberty, testosterone is vital for fusing the long bones of the arms and legs to give you the correct height. It often used to be the case with people with Kalman syndrome or HH with low testosterone actually grew a lot taller than average and had, I'd say, out of proportion arms and legs because the long bones did not fuse at the correct age. Now, testosterone is essential for maintaining bone density and bone strength. Now, it used to be seen that osteoporosis was a problem of uh, late to middle age and old age in women where going through the menopause, estrogen levels drop and bones become a little bit weaker and they're more susceptible to fractures. But osteoporosis can affect anybody, male or female, at any age. And people with Kalman syndrome or HH have to be very careful that if our testosterone levels are too low for too long, we, we do run the risk of developing osteoporosis. And especially if we, are, if we get diagnosed quite late, into our 20s and 30s, we could have gone 15, 20 years with low testosterone. And that can have quite an adverse effect on our bone density. So it is quite important that, that firstly we have the correct testosterone levels, so we have to, have to make sure we take the right testosterone therapy at the right time and make sure our levels are correct all the way through the cycle. And also that we need a bone density test, sometimes called a DEXA test, D-E-X-A, or bone density scan, to check the hardness of the bones to make sure we're not at increased risk of developing osteoporosis. Now, for people with Kalman syndrome HH, it's recommended that we should have a bone density scan, a DEXA scan, at least every five years. Regardless of what sort of treatment you're on, every five years at the bare minimum. If you're at risk of developing osteoporosis, so if, if you get one test which puts you in the at-risk category, you should go to at least one every three years. And if that's, when those tests reveal that you're at severe risk of osteoporosis, it should be at least every year. Because osteoporosis is one condition you do not want to get. It can be very, very painful and very severe. So as soon as you, if bones break, they get, it gets very difficult for them to mend or fuse back together again. And it can be a very painful condition. While Kalman syndrome itself is pain-free, it's not, there's no pain associated with it, having osteoporosis is one thing which you really should avoid. And it is completely avoidable as long as we take the right testosterone levels throughout our lives and then we make sure we demand or suggest we get a DEXA scan at once every five years at the bare minimum just to make sure that the testosterone levels are fine and that the bone density is what it should be for our age. It's a very simple, it's only a five minute test, it's, it's, it's just like an x-ray. All they do is take an x-ray of the base of your spine, your hip, sometimes the arms as well or your or your shoulders, but mainly it's the spine and the hip, just to make sure that the bone density is sufficient for somebody of your age. And if you're at risk of developing osteoporosis, some of us have given extra medication to try and help prevent it. The, one of the most common things, which is coming, seems to be becoming more and more important these days, is vitamin D deficiency. So it used to be that you just gave you calcium supplements, but now it is thought that a lot of the osteoporosis can be caused by having the vitamin D deficiency as well. So some doctors, especially here in the United Kingdom, suggest that you take extra vitamin D to make sure your vitamin D levels are fine, and that will help your bone density. There's no, and actually exercise is always going to help. So if your vitamin D levels are fine and have exercise, that will help prevent developing osteoporosis later in life, or even during middle age. The lower your testosterone levels are, the more at risk you are developing osteoporosis. There's one thing you have to be a bit careful about with Kalman syndrome. You can't just take, take the hormone replacement therapy and just assume everything's going to be alright. It's only a very simple test every five years, but it's just something to watch out for.